So what is going on guys? This is Ryan here. Now, if I was to say to you guys the back rooms, what's the first thing that you're about to imagine as a result? Me personally, I'm seeing that bizarre patterned yellow wallpaper, entirely just illuminated with yellowness. Strange hum in the background, but there is something which has inspired this video as a result, and I'm gonna get onto it immediately. The YouTuber Kane Pixels, aka the guy who basically rebirthed the whole found footage backroom genre, which we're now seeing on YouTube, has posted a couple of images on his community tab. We've seen these ones before, definitely what we can interpret as the back rooms. A little bit weird with these uh, like orifices though, like what's going down there? But then a couple of days ago, he started to post some of these more abstract things, like a forest with a red illuminated light, we got the night sky up there, and whatever the heck this seems to be, like an, a very old school era house. My initial thought was that you know, these were teasing something, but they might have been some kind of subliminal imagery, but there is something else at play here. Immediately, I was seeing people talking about going deeper into the back rooms, and talking about the crimson forest. Dude, I was used to like seven foot high walls, yellow and all what are you talking about a forest in the back rooms? There is a whole multitude of levels to the back rooms and things get extremely obscure and bizarre at points and that got me really interested for this video. I just want to check out some of the different levels with the back rooms just to see what's going on. As of recording this, Kane Pixels has not released anything else on his channel in relation to this. It seems like he's maybe gearing up to do his own take on the different levels but there are so many out there and I just know he is not going to cover all of them. YouTube actually recommended me this channel here called Kiev. I, I believe that's how it's pronounced, Kweev. It was this video here, the back rooms level 9 First of all, I don't know why YouTube's saying that I've already watched this thing, what the heck? But like, that thumbnail image, and then we got like level 11, this has nothing to do with what we are used to when it comes to the back rooms. And it just made me want to dig through a few of his videos. He always does super short ones, just exploring different areas and different levels. We probably won't watch all of them, you know, some of them are literally like 10, 15 seconds, there is no context, but I really want to see those alternate levels. Well then check out a couple of videos from Frag2, we have seen his before, he made some amazing stuff, okay? But I don't want to talk much more, I just want to get watching this stuff. If you guys like this episode, so I think you know exactly what to do. Now, before we check out the backroom stuff, guys, let me show you something that's just popped up on the store. I have my own 8-bit Ryan pillow. Look, this thing has got some density to it. Are we seeing this? I am super pleased with how this thing turned out. I wanted to let you guys know that you can now get this thing for yourself. I believe it is still under the pre-order status, but it will be shipping soon. Pretty sick little thing, wanted to let you guys know, but let's get back on with the video. The thing about Kiv's channel is I don't think there is any sort of, like, flow or chronological order to this. It just seems to be unique experiences on each of these different levels, so we really can just jump in wherever we want. I mean, why not do that level 11 first of all then? So first up, we're gonna watch this one, guys. Definitely check out Keith's channel, okay? He's got so much good stuff there. But this is level 11. Like, it gets to a point where it's like, how do you even get to this thing? How are you gonna go up another level? It's almost like it's a real place, you know? You can see the sky above you. Level 11. Oh, like, this is so bizarre. I gotta read up on this after we're done. Okay, here we go. So he goes through it. What is this though? You go from outside and you go on through. Dang, okay, this is weird. It's like a city level within the back rooms. Like, can you imagine stumbling across this? Whole area, just nothing to it, man. Absolutely nothing. You had like an AC working. Who's running that thing though? Now, if you're like me at the minute, you're kind of confused what's going on here. Now, if we go over to the backrooms fandom, the level 11 does actually have a completely kitted out description of what's going on. So let's check this thing out. This is what I kind of wanted to do with this video. Like we look at something very weird. We don't understand what's happening, but then we read about it and really begin to grasp what's happening. Level 11 is similar to level nine in size and structure. However, rather than consisting of middle-class suburban houses, it is populated with office buildings, apartments, and various other buildings commonly found in large cities from the front room. Front rooms? The front rooms are considered the major counterpart to the back rooms. They are also the easiest and most practical entrance point to the back rooms. The front rooms are reasonably- What the freak? So the front rooms is literally the earth, as far as I'm understanding. Like, that is so bizarre. You know what I'm trying to say? People, like, aliens writing about us, saying that we live in the front rooms. Level 11 is also cluttered with parks, plazas, and metro stations. However, very few stores have been discovered. So there's lots of basically random city-like elements to it, but it looks like there might be no one in sight. Although level 11 seems stationary at movement, while the buildings are out of sight, is in fact quite common. The structure of level 11 seems to be constantly shifting, and explorers have reported buildings moving hundreds of feet while out of sight. So everything moves around you only when you don't look at it. This thing's got something called facelings. They're extremely uncommon and can be found throughout all the areas of the metro. So if you're in level 11, don't go into a metro. A very bizarre floor, to say the least. Alone, like that, that just makes me think weird things can go down in there. More so, it's like the buildings and everything moving behind your back only when you're not looking. Solution, just literally get four of your friends, okay? You tie each other to your backs and you walk around like that. How's yes. the building gonna move then? Next one is this back room's level 94. Like, okay, I'm seeing that preview already. I'm thinking like, what the freak are we seeing? Yo. 
Now, this is even more bizarre. You can... I was about to say those houses look fake as free. We're in like a suburban area, walking down just normal road. You can hear birds in the trees and such. It's fake though. You can see like it has boundaries and stuff like that. Uh, ice cream man? Hey, what the fr- who's that? Yo, this is weird. Ooh. Is it like memories? A camping trip? What on earth? Yo, this floor is weird, man. Guys, someone explain what I'm trying to see. Yeah, we're digging into what the freak level 94 is. Class three, unsafe, unsecure, low entity count. It appears to be a large town, a floating castle and grass hills, but everything has a grainy effect as if the place was crafted. The main town is safe with no entities during the day. This town has a big water fountain at the center along with almond, wait, almond water? Like legit almond water though? It's got 1930s style cars, milk vans filled with almond, so that almond milk thing always going on in this world. The town also has siren poles, which from time to time can play happy cartoony music. At this time, everything is safe until it turns to night. The music will stop completely, and at this time, the entity known as animations will start to appear and will attack violently if spotted. The animations are one of two entities that inhabit level 94. They're hostile creatures that have the appearance of stop motion characters. When nighttime comes in level 94, the animations will come out and begin to search for wanderers or anything that does not appear to be animated. When they see someone that is not animated, they will attempt to kill them in whatever way is easiest for their body type. Claymation characters will drown them in clay while more plastic and wooden characters will use blunt force. Yo, it's just a place made of like magical things, but they are absolutely ruthless. Yeah, you come across one, you, you better start, you know, walking like this else they are actually gonna kill you. I know this would be interesting. It's just alone. You can see how weird some of these floors can get. And I can't wait to see if maybe eventually some people start animating those entities within them. That would be so terrifying. And right, let's take a look what's popping on on level four. This one? It's one I'm not sure of at all. So it's got a different office layout. Old school, sort of everything's nice and clean. Is that a Macintosh? They hooking up the Macintosh with the printer? Uh, but why? You know, what can we get from that? Ooh. Hey. What the freak? Ooh. Yo, wait, what was that something coming towards us? Hold up. What the freak is that? That looked like a smiley face. Did we see that? Level four appears to be an empty office building completely devoid of furniture. Certain rooms in this level do have windows, but all should be considered traps and avoided at all costs. Because of the lack of beings, many wanderers naturally congregate on level four. Additionally, scattered around the level are water coolers, water fountains, and vending machines containing, again, almond water. So we're seeing this weird trend going on with almond water. Level four is considered the best place to meet other wanderers and gather supplies before moving. It's almost like, if you were going in as a group, okay, we are known as the Wanderers if we were in the back rooms. Seems to be a completely safe floor for the most part. So now that makes me question that video we saw where the entity did in fact attack us. Why would they still do that? So this is that level where if you're making ground, you chill for a little bit, okay? If you brought supplies, now is the time to get some rest because this is the last chance you're probably gonna get for a while. Man, someone needs to make a back rooms movie, like exploring all of the levels, trying to shut that thing off at the end. Can you imagine how cool that would be? A very interesting detour and look at some bizarre, strange concepts. Quav, I really hope you don't mind me reacting. You know, I don't want to do any more just because this guy might want to, you know, keep all the credit for himself, which is understandable. He's doing the work. Figured I should try and share that though with you guys just to, you know, get a bit more eyes on this because he's going to be making potentially more levels and it will be very interesting. Next up, I want to watch a couple of Frag's videos. I remember checking these out a while back and I really enjoyed them, like his own independent exploration type stuff. We're going to start with Backrooms Found Footage 2. I, I don't get why YouTube keeps saying I've watched these. Like, I haven't even, what is this? I've never seen this. Here we go. 21st of the 3rd, 1996. So what I really liked about Frag's renditions with the backrooms is he was not afraid to show those entities real quick. It gave us a good look at the different kinds of beings and whatever that you might find within the different levels. Yeah, this one looks different though. The floor, I think it might be carpet. I don't know. It reminds me of like those old school 90s hotels though. You just get lost in the corridors, no windows to get light through. Yeah. Adequate response. Pause in the darkness and debate. Is it really worth going through there? Nope. I'm gonna find another way out of this place. That's what he's thinking. And it goes down. So it, it feels like this must be some kind of hotel-like area. More dark and oh man, that's claustrophobic as heck. It's like there's so many ways you can go, but you just don't want to. What the freak? Okay, someone needs to fill that space with some. 
Whoa! You see the force on that? What the freak? What is this? That was like a paranormal being on this floor or something. I don't know if I'm right to say that. But that chair got yeeted though. You see that? Oh! <laughs> what? Like ginormous moth type things that live down here? Try and squeeze your wings down this corridor, fella. You're gonna have to try and run and chase me. It's like weird. Just full of random bizarre entities. They would probably rip you to shreds though, you know? Drain your blood. Use this little, like, you know, they've got nice little things that they stick into the flowers to like drain them, you know? Get the get the juices out. Yeah, they'll be getting your bodily juice out. Is that the only thing that resides on this floor though? Man. You know what I was saying about, you know, draining the bodily fluids? Look at our guy. What once was. Yep. That's all you can take back of him now, fella. He's done. Yeah, your camera quality is so weak, I still can't read that. Wait. Hold up. 2047? Oh, that's going into the time of the backrooms and being different from what reality is? You can see out the window. Rarely get to look at these. Another light on over the other side. There's lights on on all of them. You see that? Oh, yeah. Fancy a jump? Because I don't. Oh. Yeah, you ain't going to get hello back, sir. Wait, did someone just jump? What the freak, man? This is so trippy. Want to go for a swim? <laughs> nah, no way. No way. Like, underneath the floorboard? It's like it's been drained. This is so bizarre. No, I would never go down those things. Like, claustrophobia kicks in. No way. No way, bro. Why? Why would you do... <laughs> nah. I don't, I don't think it. I, I don't think that's good. Did the lights go out? Yo, what the... What the freak? Look at that thing! Man, that's like reaching for him! Living down in the water, like pulling itself up back through the tunnel. <laughs> remaining floor is removed. You mean remaining head? Actually not remaining because it's also been removed. So I wonder what floor that would take place on. It looked like we were very high up when we got a chance to kind of look down that centerpiece all the way to the bottom. I wonder if that is a thing that will exist in every single floor. As long as you make your way back to that center point, you can kind of see how many levels you've gotten through. How about next that we, uh, you know, go for that solo exploration, which, uh, yeah, it's not gonna end well, is it? It's, it's literally the back rooms, guys. We know what happens. All right, so this is called Solo Exploration 005. You got your rucksack. Mom made you a packed lunch, you know, sandwich. Latitude, longitude. Recommended location. It's actually giving a spot. Is that... Imagine you found that, though. What the frick? Oh, that's him clipping! I have no idea how this dude sustained zero injuries. Either a superhero clip through and we're good. Or not. Wait, why are those... Did you see? That was kind of weird. Why were those areas pixelated? Was it censored from the viewers? So they don't want to see what was down there? Very interesting. If so, why would they Why would they not want us to see what's down there? I mean, we're getting the same appearance down there too. It, it don't look like the same sort of compression. Maybe it is. A very odd compression though for sure. Like stuttering the, uh, the screen a lot. This is just like columns then. Really many rooms. Yeah, there's just a room of columns. Why would a person really want to go exploring though into the back rooms given the opportunity like if you knew the location would you go in i wouldn't i would mark where never to put me you know it's a place i never want to get to what the freak you want to you want to touch some wall mold i ain't feeling like it's got a yo it's got a face you could probably ask it a question you might get somewhat of a response what the freak is that it, yeah there's some kind of face in there is that like a backrooms clip that didn't work? The person just became this? Are they alive? Are they dead? No one knows. Moving on to a different zone. It's like a spiral type thing. Comprised of walls. Oh my! What the freak? Yo, look at this scale of it. It's using the wall to climb. This is what I love about Frank's take, man. He always shows the entities. He ain't afraid to just like let it be silent. He wants to show you what you're trying to avoid. So this might, I guess, go against what I was trying to say about the multiple levels and being able to see down. It's a similar thing with the middle. So perhaps when you go to the other level, the middle zone is distorted? I would not walk along that. You can, you can skip that. There is a... 
I would not even risk kick. What about if you, you know, dude, what about if you were stood there, you kicked that thing, you were like, oh. there's a limit to what I am prepared to do personally. To clip back, 28% chance of working, but this guy was like, you know what? I'm good with that. Literally, how to clip in and out of the back room's introduction. We just, you know, we just need some of that Kevin McLeod, you know, sneaky snitch. I'll put that over that so you can feel it. This is, this is YouTube 101. Don't tell the TikTokers, man. They will flock to this place and there'll be a lot of missing kids. There's your door. No door handle. Do you really want to waste time looking around? You should just get through it. Wedge foot in it and slam. Wait, what? Yo, break your toes. Ah! Wait, did it work? Hold up, did he clip back? Total time, eight days. So, wait. Oh, so on the 28% chance, he was able to clip back out. That's so sick. Literally figured, I want to go to the back rooms, maybe die. 28% chance of getting back out. The footage will be worth it. It will. All right, guys, now the last one we're going to watch for this video is back rooms found footage number three. If you do want to see me react also to the back rooms number four, let me know down below just so I know that I'm not, you know, doing stuff you guys don't want to see. This one is actually going to be really interesting for the reason it says down here, another tape I found, but it details the different levels that we can actually see. So this is sick. This is basically what I was wanting to cover mainly for this video anyway. This is level run for your life. <laughs> Yo! What? No wonder it comes with that name. Because if you don't follow the instructions given, you die. Man! It's that. Oh, you're not stacked it. That stacked it. So you just run and pray that you can outrun whatever the being is. And you get to the end of that thing. Get through that door. and it just cuts out. This is interesting, we're hearing the same song. We heard that in the other one too. This must be the song which is on this floor. I think this one might be, hold on, what's this floor called? This one is level fun. Sorry about the jump right there, guys, I had to check. So, you try and find maybe some kind of party room. Maybe, is this the level where you could find those party goers though? That might be the, the entity which can take you down. No wonder they're called party goers if they're trying to find the party. I don't like the fact that we're seeing a balloon though. I don't like that. Oh! Yeah, you said it best, bud. You said it, but what the? That thing had metal junk in it, like everything that was breaking. It's like the sounds don't line up with what it should be in real life. <coughs> what kind of bullcrap party is this? Where's the party goers? I need someone to entertain me here. It's like a chair. There's a, there's a cake, there's some pie. Oh, is that the thing? Is that one of the party goes? I kind of want to search after this. Remember though, guys, this is just a compilation of found footage. The backroom's arcade. Hey! Now this is a level I want to get lost on. Endless arcades, hopefully each with a unique different game. You down for some fun, guys? Because we're about to have it on this one. Not the worst floor, but it depends what entity is on here with us. That's always... The question we must pose immediately after is it could be kind of spooky and we might see party goers, maybe. I'm trying to see those games. We've got Pac-Man, all right. To be expected, we see that. Most... Oh, you see, this ain't it, this ain't it. This ain't what you want. Oh, there's a quiet floor. This is, yeah, this is when you don't want to be on this floor. All the happiness is gone. It's just sacked away, like... How am I gonna play an arcade if there was no arcades available on the arcade floor? You just can't. All right then guys, and we are gonna leave this little exploration video here into the back rooms. The issues I always find with these is that like, I have an idea in my head and I'm like, yeah, this is gonna be sick, but you can go down such an incredible rabbit hole with the back rooms to the point where there would be endless content to explore. Like I could see me doing a video like this and if I don't restrain myself, I could be like doing this for hours. Both the channels where we saw the content from will be linked down below. Highly would recommend you going on and checking their content out too, guys. There is so much left for me to look at. Do let me know if you wanna see potentially more exploration based videos into other concepts with the back rooms, I would happily do that because I do enjoy the research side too and learning more about what these different floors might contain. There is more than just that yellowish tinted floor that we have seen and it seems like most of these other floors as well, they got more terrifying entities and bizarre concepts behind them. But alright though guys, hopefully you did enjoy this episode. I mean, we reacted to them, we saw the different crazy entities on those floors. I don't want to go to those floors, you can if you want. But this one though guys, this is where we're going to leave everything and I really hope you did enjoy. If you did, why not drop me that like rating and hey, if you're new around here, why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here. So thanks so much for watching this video, guys. Of course, I hope you did enjoy. And I will, of course, see you on the next one.